Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. Now this is just a quick little video talking to you about these transformers, these wall walk, these brick type things. And I am specifically talking to you about the linear ones, which will be the heavy transform, not those lightweight switch mode jobbies, but these sort of uh, wall walk that you plug into the wall there. And the reason why I'm talking to you about these is because when you're going to build up your power, your, your amplifier system, you are going to want some sort of, not for all amps needed, but you will find that, let's, for instance, the, the Quad 606, it has a pop when it starts up, and that can be a little bit, well, one, I suppose, in some circumstances, it could harm your speakers, um, but I think you don't really want that pop noise. And the reason why you get the pop noise is because, let me give you an example. So you're powering up your amplifier. You've got a, uh, let's say it's 40 volts, zero, and then a plus 40 volts, zero, and minus 40 volts. Now, when the transformer and the capacitor bank kick in, the power, the amplifier board itself is not completely symmetrical for variations in components and bits and pieces. So the rails don't, or they, they don't power exactly the same. You know, your plus rail and your negative rail, they don't power exactly the same. And because of that, and this is in a, in a very sort of a brief explanation, because of that, you get a pop. And so in order to get around a pop, what you'd do is you'd use one of these speaker board protectors, speaker protector boards. And here there's this uh, CP1237 or 1327. It enables with the use of these few extra uh, components to put a time delay on between when the power goes in and these relays open up. Here you'd put your left speaker in ground and the positive ground and the positive for the right and on here the speaker connections coming out the same to go off towards your speakers like i say when the power goes on dum, it goes in here it goes through this little we got a half a half wave rectifier here these two diodes and this is a it's a 12 volt regulator because these will work from 12 volts which is good enough but the 12 volt ac that you put in here once it's gone through its rectification through the capacitors is just in the 17 volts that's with no load to it so it might be pulled down a little bit more because you need a little bit more than that to actually run these uh these voltage regulators because it's got its own overhead and what it needs to use and of course the diodes you got about 0.7 of a volt drop Depending which way you're going up the signal, it's going to drop. If you go down the signal on the sinus order, this one's going to drop its uh, voltage off. So, but what do we do about the transformers? Because that's another expense, and not everybody likes the idea of having to try and find another transformer. Well, that's where these things come in handy. This one's not very good because it's 4.5 volt output. We don't want that. We want one with a 12 volt output. Here I've got one with a 12 volt output. Um, I actually use one of these, exactly the same, uh, behind my TV where my setup is. Um, and I use it into a connector block. It's got different ends on it like this. Um, but it goes into the connector block and there, and then I've got wires coming out and they feed into a board. Let me just show you quickly on the screen. So the wires coming out of my, um, my connector block. One lot feeds into the board here and feeds out into my transformer. And this is a power supply soft starting board. So I don't put too much. Uh, no, I've got a 300 VA transformer behind there and really it should be okay. But it's, I mean, I've just got it there anyway. But what we're looking at is these. And look how cheap they are. Look, £2.49. I bought four of them so I could get uh, uh, the faster shipping. Otherwise I'd have had to pay shipping on there. But that's with the tax. Uh, £2.49. So nice and cheap, and it takes away the pop sound, but you need a transformer for it. So this is the ideal type of thing. You find a ball wall, as long as it's a 12 volt ball wall, you might be having to look for the older ones, uh, because like most of the new ones now, these, the ones I've got, these ones all come from router. So yeah, so th th that's what you want. You want one of these things that says 12 volt output on here. 
because uh, it's been regulated to the 12 volt output and you can use the transformer there and you just plug it into here and I'm going to very quickly just wire this up and show you because you can see that there's a time delay between this is the power light and this is the it's on light uh, and there's a time delay and that's what you're looking for. Now as a rule of thumb it's always a good idea just to check these things um, what voltage you are coming out and as it's AC it doesn't matter you just set it up to on your multimeter to AC I'm going to just clunk this down we can see there we've got 13.6 volts now that's unloaded so when there's a bit of a load on there that's probably going to drop down but 13.6 is good because these boards will actually run from uh, 12 to 18 volts so anything in that region is good I don't know why I'm taking that out I suppose we're disconnecting this but so now we know that that's good, we can connect up onto our board. What we're going to be looking for is, first of all, we'll see the red LED come on. And then there'll be a time delay, and we'll hear the relays clicking across. And it's that time delay which is going to stop us from having a pop on our amplifier. Ready? There we go. So you hear the relays clicking across, our green's on, and that means now your speakers will be on. Speakers off straight away. Time delay, time delay, time delay, time delay. Speakers on. And that is that all important pause, that mute start for stopping the pop, because by the time your speakers come on, all that would have happened and um, you would not have noticed it through the speakers. Okay, that was it, that's it. So looking out for these 12 outputs and uh, you can save yourself a few quid uh, by just rummaging through, even asking the neighbors, mate, have you got any old power adapters for routers, as long as they're the heavy ones, these linear jobbies. Um, I'm, they, uh, I'm gonna say no on the switch mode just because it works on a completely different system. Uh, but these linear ones are the ones that you're after. That's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks very much if you got this far uh, watching, and I shall say see you in the next one. Bye for now.